Well, thanks for tuning in to the final spin. You want to stay tuned right here for the number nine shootout recap. Ropers, we just got done roping for over $34,000 in the number nine shootout here at the Eastern Regionals. Now, this roping, a great roping, and folks, let me tell you, it was easy. Let me break it down for you. Let's go ahead and kick it off with the top ten. The tenth callback is Lacey Davis and Chris Chandler. They roped their three steers in 39.96 to get to the short round. All they need to be here is a 15.52 to take the lead at this point. They're going to come around here 14.35 when it's all said and done. They are your leaders right now with a 54 and 31. We're going to move up now to the ninth callback position. This is a team of Doc Alday and Lane McFeeders. Remember this kid's name. It's going to be something you're going to hear constantly throughout this recap. The ninth callback, they are 38 and 51. All they need to be here is 15-69 as you see Doc Alday call for the steer. And here comes Lane McFeeders coming in 6 and 18. It doesn't take this kid long to make money. If anybody had a secret to it, it's this guy right here. They move up into the lead with a 44 and 79. We go now to the eighth callback. This is Dylan Hardwick and Doyle Nobles. This team coming out of South Carolina. This team needs to be 706 to take the lead. They're going to rope a leg here in their short round. It's going to put them at 16 and 18, and that is going to move them into second. We climb the ladder now to the seventh callback. It's Chuck and Lane McFeeders. I told you this kid was coming again. They're out of Indiana. They're 3705, and in the short round, they're needing to be 773. They're going to get this one roped here in a time of 8 and 84. They'll finish their four in a 4589. They are currently second. Now, as we move to the sixth and fifth callbacks, they're going to turn in no times. We got to jump up to the fourth high call of Coleman Simmons and Bill Little. Virginia and Tennessee teamed up here with a 34-74. Looking to be 10-04 to be number one for a chance at that $11,000 payday. They're going to break the barrier here, be 12-47. and They're 47-21, and that's going to put them in third. Let's take a look at the high team back. High team back has all day for the championship to take the win. It's Jackie Barnett and Paul Moore. Team out of Alabama coming here to seek their fortune. They're 31-61. And right here, our healer with an opportunity is going to miss his chance, and they will no t be no time. So the win of the Ropen is going to go to Doc Alday and Lane McFeeders. They're going to split $11,810. Well, Ben Clements had an opportunity to speak with our champions, Doc Alday and Lane McFeeders, and this is what they had to say. Doc, you roped a great roping today. Tell me, tell me why you came here to the Eastern Regional Finals. What makes this a roping that you would attend? Well, you know, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm being a Texan, you know, I mean, I'd like to go out west, but I've got to work on the racetrack still. I still do quite a bit of consulting, lameness work. My business is based in Kentucky, and so I don't get a chance to go out west like we used to. And this is the best roping, besides the NTRL, which is in Jacksonville, which I make every year. I love coming here. I couldn't come here last year. There was a funeral we had to go to, and I had an injury, and so I had to give it up. And, and I had some really great partners in draws, Bob Knutson, Nat Stewart, Marshall Hall, and Lane. I mean, you know, I, I mean, you know, I knew he was a special run. We just won the Indiana Classic, you know, the number nine there, and we just dominated that rope. And he just, he just unbelievable young roper. I mean, I'm sure they're going to bump his number, but, but I'll tell you what, he's just a great young man. For a 15-year-old roped what he does, I tell you, he's got a great mindset, and he just doesn't make mistakes, you know. Well, Doc, all day, congratulations, and uh, good luck, uh, and we'll see you at the U.S. Finals. Yeah, looking forward to it. Lane McFeeders, our champion healer right here out of this number nine shootout. Lane, what are you feeling right now? Uh, I feel great. I feel great. My pockets are feeling heavy. I, I, I bet they are. You just won first and second in this shootout. Um, tell, me, tell me where you came from, how, how it worked out. Um, I was ninth callback and seventh callback, and come, come back to win first and second in the open. Made some really good runs, and it paid off. You bet, you bet. How did you get teamed up? You, you and Stephen Alday were the ninth callback. How did you get partnered with him? Uh, me and Steve Alday won the nine point at the Indiana Classic this year, and we've been roping ever since then. And my dad, he actually called in and entered us without me even knowing. So <laughs> that's kind of luck there. Hey, that's just right. Lane, you're roping great. We're proud of you and uh, certainly excited for uh, what you've got in the future. Are you going to be headed to the U.S. Finals? Um, not for sure yet, but I, I hopefully I am now. Man, you've got all this money and all this stuff. You better be going. I know, I know. Just give me a ride figured out, and I'll be headed that way. You bet. Well, congratulations, man. Great roping.
Well, congratulations to two great guys. Two guys coming from the ninth callback position to get the title. $11,800 of Trophy Martin Saddles. And Lane McFeeders with an excellent weekend here at Eastern Regionals. This 15-year-old kid has got to be walking away here with at least $15,000 in two days. Congratulations again to Doc Alday and Lane McFeeders. Folks, we got one more rope and left. It's the number eight pick draw. You want to stay tuned right here on the final spin on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at the final spin, hashtag eRegionals. Keep it right here. One more roping to go here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee.